everyone! Today is a very special day. One of Queezy's friends has traveled down to come and spend the weekend with us. Her name is Lottie and she and Queezy have been friends since they were in school. She lives at Braithwaite Manor. I know, it's very posh. She texted Queezy last week about coming down. She also watches the videos. Hi Lottie. So she said it's cool for me to film. Queasy challenged her to ride Gizmo, which might have seemed like a terrible idea a few weeks ago, but Gizmo has been with us for about a month, and he's come really far in his training, so it should be fine. But since it's a special weekend, me and Queasy finally had an excuse to book a two-day trail ride hosted by Emerald Ranch. The plan was, Lottie would get here Friday, we would leave together Friday night and start the trail ride early on Saturday and have two full days of horses and riding. I was super excited. Oh, and me and Lottie are going to rent horses. I love Jericho, but I also don't want to die this time. And Queasy was going to bring Gizmo to ride. It was 7.30 a.m. when Lottie's truck pulled up. I have to admit, I was a little bit nervous since we were spending the whole weekend together and I really didn't want to make a bad impression or something like that, but I was completely overthinking things since when I actually met her, she was really, really nice. She and Queasy are both Dutch and for some reason I get along really well with Dutch people. Not sure where that comes from. But after the whole introduction, we headed over to the horses to go on a little trail ride around McFarlane. Lottie and Queasy were catching up and Lottie was telling us about how she had outgrown her horse Poppy and was in the market for a new horse. Queasy recommended that when we go up to Emerald Ranch, she ask around if they had any horses for sale. It was one of the best places to get high quality horses for lots of disciplines. She joked that as long as they didn't have Turkomans, that she would be more than happy to look. Poor Jericho getting this verbal abuse. Speaking of the devil, he was in a relatively good mood today. Lottie was riding Gizmo and Queasy was borrowing a lesson horse. It was going to be a really short ride, so I wasn't at all worried about any misbehaving. This boy has been working very hard lately and was going to have the whole weekend to himself while we were off gallivanting in the Grizzlies. Jericho was going to miss Gizmo over the weekend since they're practically best friends now. And as you can see, Gizmo was not bothered by the train at all. He's really used to it now and we've even brought him on and off the train a couple of times for desensitization. Warming up really didn't take long at all, since the horses were pretty warm from the sun anyway, and Lottie and Gizmo really hit off, so we weren't worried about him acting up in some way. They actually hit it off a lot. He listened to her really well, and she certainly had a soft spot for him. Soon it was ride time, and would a trail ride really be a trail ride if I didn't make a montage of it?
The ride was really pleasant. You probably saw Jericho is still suffering from his I want to be first gene, but he was listening to Lottie a lot. When she would speak, he would focus on her. I think he was getting used to a new voice on Gizmo. Me and Lottie got to know each other more and she told me about her dressage competing when she was younger and how she prefers to do cross country and trail ride now. Speaking of trail rides, we were all super excited for our weekend away and unlike our failed five day ride, this time we could really relax since we were in a group with very experienced horses. We spent the rest of the day chatting and getting Gizmo ready for the journey. It was only a couple hours away, but we were all taking the train. It arrived at 6pm and we loaded Gizmo with only a few refusals and boarded ourselves. Let the journey begin. It was 10 p.m. when we got into the quaint little town of Valentine where we would be spending the night. We were all really tired to the point where we almost left to go to the hotel without Gizmo who was still on the train. Luckily he was really chill, probably also exhausted so he was no bother unloading and leading to the livery. I noticed due to the lack of light pollution in the town, you could see the stars really well. It really was a beautiful night, and if we hadn't been so tired, I would have liked to have gone stargazing or something. But we had to get up super early the next day, so getting Gizmo settled and going to bed was more of a priority. The stalls at this livery were a little smaller than the ones at the ranch, but Gizmo seemed pretty happy, despite being the chonky boy he is. We gave him a good night snack and headed to the hotel. The town was way smaller than I thought it was, so finding the hotel was no bother at all. Since we got in so late, by this point it must have been like 11pm, we were told on the email to go and get the key ourselves as the receptionist actually leaves at 9 o'clock. The hotel was very affordable but also super small so we each got a room to ourselves. With alarms set for 3.30am we all headed up to our rooms and directly to bed. This weekend was definitely going to be a blast. This is the first time in the series that someone else has come on, and it certainly won't be the last. Just you wait. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay positive, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.